I am exploring a primitive and dangerous place. Huge man-eating predators live here. This primal river is full of danger during the day. But once the sun goes down, it becomes a nightmare. But how does it change? How do the predators behave at night? I'm here to unlock this mystery the only way I know how. I am Manny Puig. I have spent my whole life learning to survive like Tarzan in the most dangerous and primitive wilderness where you can be killed or eaten. I have learned the ways of giant man-eating predators, deadly sharks and reptiles, where every encounter may spell disaster in the savage wild. Return to the Primal River, a wild, mysterious and ancient place, loaded with wildlife, adventure and danger. The last time we were here, we encountered huge alligators and a wide variety of wildlife. But this time, I want to unlock the real secrets of this place that you won't find in daylight. As the sun begins to set, I am preparing for an extremely dangerous adventure. My curiosity is burning. This place is like Borneo, a primitive and majestic wilderness, and the beauty of the Primal River overwhelms my senses. But this place will become a living nightmare in the dark. And to see and experience the behavior of the wildlife, especially the dangerous predators when they are the most active, consumes my imagination. I need to understand this place and its creatures, to see it with my own eyes, at its most dangerous in the dead of night. Listen to this place. Darkness is falling. This primal river uh, comes alive. There's predators prowling out here. Uh, this becomes dark and mysterious. This is where the adventure begins. So I'm gonna get ready and get in. As I gear up, I keep my mind focused. I have no idea what we will encounter. But I know the risk we're taking and the danger we're putting ourselves in. So we must remain calm and alert as we explore this place. With only our lights to guide us in pitch black darkness. I wonder if Tarzan never thought of doing this. Coming in here at night, didn't have the lights. But I guarantee you Tarzan would not be able to see the alligators in the dark. I'm like Tarzan, but I got a wetsuit and I got a mask. Got a knife, also, just like him.
Okay, are you ready? I'm ready, man. Okay, let, let's go over there. I think there's a, a giant alligator on that side right there. Let's go check it out. Oh, he's, a, he's a thousand pounder, it's no joke. Our first encounter is an alligator so large, I can't believe my eyes. How will he react to my approach in the dark? The time when they're most actively hunting. have to be crazy to swim this primal river in the dead of night with everything from small fishes to huge alligators actively hunting prey i am not crazy but this mysterious world has almost never been seen before by human eyes i need to understand how both predator and prey behave once darkness settles in After spotting what appears to be a huge alligator from the boat, I am searching the bank with my light. He may have moved off. There are a thousand places for him to hide. And I wonder how he will react to my light. On the surface, there are dense layers of vegetation, like a thick mat for him to hide under. There he is, lying in ambush, a monster gator at least 13 feet long, with a massive head. The light doesn't seem to bother him, and he knows we're very close. This is a dangerous animal, capable of taking down any size prey. Alligators can react unpredictably in any situation. We'll have to be extra careful, so we back out and plan our approach. He is enormous. I know, I saw him. Enormous. He's, he's sitting right there. He's facing this way. His head is so massive. He, he's at least 13, if not more. The current almost blew me into him. So we got to plan this a little bit better. Okay, this way. He's facing this way. What, what are you going to do? How are you, you going to go in? You're going to go face onto him, okay? I'm going to be right next to you. And when he turns around, I don't know which way he's going to go. The current is ripping, making it even more difficult to approach him safely. Cuete goes in first to set up his camera shot. The vegetation above him makes it look like he's in a cave. And he might as well be. There's no way for us to escape if he attacks. remains perfectly still as I approach him with my light. Look at how far his teeth protrude from his mouth. As I gently lift him, I realize he's so huge. I can't drag him out from under the thick mat of plants. I'm running out of breath, so I try to bring him up through it. I am now in terrible danger. I need to breathe. Letting go now is suicide, but I have to make a run for air. Luckily, he decides not to attack. I lifted him, I tried to get him to the surface. And I got his head to the matting, and his, his face came up here like this, but he's so, I can't hardly move him, he's so massive. This guy is this, this, wow. Yeah, he's big, he's a huge gator. His teeth are enormous, man, you, you can't huge, imagine. Huge gator. You, were you able to get a, a I good, got a good shot of you picking him up, and I got under him. Wow. But once he got, got his head to the matting, all oh, hell was the body. Yeah, yeah, well, at least we got that, yeah. Did, he, did he come up, did you see him come up to the matting? Let's see if I can locate him. Hang on. Man, there's so many bugs here. Every time I breathe, I'm swallowing them. This place is infested with insects. Th that alligator is enormous. His head. It's like this, it's this high, his nose is, is this broad, his teeth are enormous. He, I, I would move him and he would just, like he didn't even care. I was like a shrimp trying to lift him out the bottom. With everything I had, I would lift him up like this and he was just like staring at me. It was just, I felt weak. 
He's so heavy, you know, unless he takes off, I can't even, I can't even move him. I'm starting to move, I can barely get, even underwater, I can barely lift this alligator, he's so heavy. This was an incredible encounter. You never know how an animal like this will react. Even with my years of experience, I am surprised by how calm he remained. But this adventure is just beginning. My search for answers beneath the dark and dangerous waters of the Primal River has already produced amazing results. I have encountered a huge thousand pound alligator that reacted calmly as I lifted him up into a mat of vegetation. I was expecting this top predator that could tear me to pieces to be far more aggressive. I continue to search for the monster gator. But he has moved off. Or is he just a few feet away hiding in the weeds? I can see wherever the light is aiming up close. It is total pitch darkness. There's tons of fish everywhere I go. I mean, I've seen there's a uh, mudfish, there's procastamins, there's bass, there's specks. Just the amount of, of fish is incredible. I gotta keep looking down because I have no idea what that alligator is in this darkness. I, I really gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. This place is so eerie. I am wrapped in darkness. I suddenly spot a large mudfish, also known as a bullfin. This is an ancient fish, the only surviving member of a prehistoric family. It has an air bladder that actually works like a lung. They will even gulp air at the surface when the water is too muddy. An Asian swamp eel. This is a non-native species only active at night. They have invaded most of Florida's swamps and rivers. My light has picked up a largemouth bass. What a beautiful fish! He approaches the light and then bolts into the darkness. Yeah, the big large on pass came right up to him like this. I came up this this close to him. I put the light on him. He doesn't see you coming, so you get right up on him. And a large on pass. What an awesome sight. A banded water snake seems to fly through the water. I want to inspect him, but I have to swim hard to catch him. This is a fairly young snake. Yeah, this is a water snake. I saw him crossing. Uh, it actually gets a whole lot bigger than this one. It's a really nice snake. He was running really fast, swimming really fast because they're, the cotton mouse float on top. They swim like this. These guys dive under. I mean, he was flying underwater. So we followed him. I let Quentin get some footage of him as he cruises and swims. Then I picked him up so we can explain and talk about him. But uh, you, you won't believe how fast uh, the snake swims underwater. It's very aquatic, very aquatic animal. Uh, the cotton is not as aquatic. I move into deeper water and below me, large long nosed gar are prowling for fish. This is literally a freshwater barracuda, lightning fast with a jaw full of sharp teeth. I hand catch one, and he stays calm as I hold him. Mm -hmm. 
swimming slowly away as I release him. The next one puts up more of a fight. There's a whole school up in this area. This guy's, it's like armor. Really, really tough fish. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and release him. Even underwater, I can barely lift this alligator. He's so heavy. His skull is so massive. And he was just like staring at me. It's just, I felt weak. He's so heavy. If he grabs a hold of me, uh, you, you won't ever see me again. <sighs> Came up here like this, but he's so, I can't hardly move him. Exploring the Primal River in pitch black darkness has been fascinating and eerie. I can only see as far as my light, but I have had so many amazing encounters. And somewhere out there, a thousand pound monster is still lurking. Man, you just can't believe how dark it is down there. Darkness has a psychological effect on humans. It reaches deep into our primal fear. There's something ancient about our fear of the night and the predators that lurk in the darkness. I returned to where we encountered a giant alligator. He may not have gone far, and I am determined to find him again. A slider turtle is swimming into the current. Alligators love to eat them. They crush them with one bite and swallow them whole. As I pass over a tangled jungle of plants, I spot him lying on the bottom. This alligator is huge. As I lift him, he stares at me before calmly swimming off. What is going through his mind? This monster disappears completely into the grass. But soon, I find him again. dive deep into the grass to find him. This is so dangerous. I have to concentrate to slow my heartbeat down. Holding my breath while struggling with this monster is hard work, but he's just too heavy to lift to the surface. Follow him one last time. There he is, hiding in the grass. As I lift him by the shin, he stays perfectly calm, but he is too heavy. I can't get him to the surface no matter how hard I try. As he swims away, I can't help but to admire this beast. Come on. 
I can't even move him. I'm starting to move. I can barely get even underwater. I can barely lift him. This alligator is so heavy. His skull is so massive. I had several encounters with him, but I, I don't want to have too many encounters with him because if he grabs a hold of me, uh, you, you won't ever see me again. I really got to pay attention to what I'm doing. Soon the sun will be rising and this place will take on a completely different character. This giant alligator is the king of this river. I never know if an alligator will viciously attack or remain calm. And this was another example of their behavior. For reasons I don't completely understand, he allowed me to interact with him. And I'm glad you were here with me tonight to experience nightfall on the Primal River.